Overview of Computer Operating Systems Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you will be able to Define an operating system List the tasks of an operating system Explain the structure of an operating system Discuss the evolution of operating system Classify the types of operating system Introduction what is an operating system? A human brain acts as a central command system of a human body. Every movement created by the body is commanded by the brain. Human brain is one of the organs present in the body which also runs the human body. Similarly, an operating system acts as a central command system for a computer. It monitors all the tasks performed by the computer and the devices attached to it. Operating system is a system software that runs inside the computer as well as controls the computer. Examples Figure 1 Windows Operating System Figure 2 Mac Operating System Figure 3 Linux Unix What does an operating system do? An operating system performs the following basic tasks. It helps users interact with the computer system. Controlling and allocating memory, prioritizing system requests, controlling input and output devices, facilitating networking, managing file systems, protecting data. Definition of an operating system an operating system is a collection of software that controls the operation of a computer. The operating system includes programs that initialize the hardware of the computer, manage and schedule the execution of programs, maintain system integrity and handle errors, provide an interface that allows a user to interact with the computer. Loading of an operating system is called as booting process. When the computer is given power supply, the booting process starts with the ROM loading the BIOS which is also called as bootstrap loader. Operating system is stored on the hard disk drive of a computer. The operating system is automatically loaded into random access memory RAM and initialized by the bootstrap loader after it checks for the availability of all the devices. Structure of an operating system The structure of an operating system is divided into layers and each layer deals with different components. Hardware This layer includes the CPU, main memory, I.O. devices, etc., which are connected via a common bus. Core OS Functions This layer deals with the core operating system functions, which include process management routines, memory management routines, I.O. control routines, file management routines. System Programs this layer includes DOS, Command Prompt, Compilers, Assemblers, Linkers, etc. Application Programs This layer consists of user programs such as Microsoft Word, Excel, VLC Player, Chrome, Adobe Reader, etc. Drag and drop the pictures in the category they belong to. Evolution of the operating system We will see how did the operating system concept evolve. Initially, the computer was very large, which required a person to punch the input and wait for a long time to get the output. The operating system was initially called monitor program, which was simple and used to transfer control from one job to next job. As the number of jobs to be performed by the computer increased day by day, transferring control from one job to the next was a major task 
that had to be automated. From then, the evolution of the operating system went through different phases to come to what it is today. Phases of operating system evolution are as follows. In 1950s, it was open shop. This phase saw the idea of the operating system evolve. 1960s saw batch processing and multi-programming evolve. In this phase, set of jobs with similar needs were grouped together to form a batch and processed. The jobs were submitted in the form of punch cards to the operators. There was no direct user interaction. Scheduling of jobs was in first out order. This phase implemented a technique to execute a number of jobs with different needs simultaneously by a single processor. All the jobs reside in memory at a time. Scheduling of jobs was done based on priority. 1970s introduced time sharing and concurrent programming. This phase was a logical extension to multi-programming with online file systems. The user could interact while the jobs were being executed. Example is Unix. This phase implemented parallel programming concepts, personal computing and distributed systems in 1980s. This phase implemented graphic user interface which revolutionized the user interaction with computer through icons, mouse clicks, etc. Examples are OS 6 and pilot system. This phase implemented the concept of remote servers. Example, Unix Amoeba. 21st century introduced mobile operating system. This phase defeated the size factor of a computer by implementing handheld devices and smartphone concept with touchscreen technology. Extension to this implementation is the voice interface. Examples are Google Voice Search application, iPhone with Siri, Blackberry, etc. Types of operating system Operating system can be classified as single user systems and multi user systems. The single user systems provide platform for one user at a time. A desktop operating system which runs on standalone systems where no user accounts are required is a single user operating system. Example is DOS. The multi user systems support two or more simultaneous users, regulate the number of users by maintaining a database of known users. Multi-user systems can be called as time-sharing systems. Example is Unix. Summary Let us summarize. The operating system is a collection of software that controls the operation of a computer. Examples are Windows, Mac operating system, Linux, Unix, etc. Operating system helps the user interact with the computer system, facilitates networking, manages the file systems, thereby protecting the data. Operating system is the first software to initialize when a computer is turned on. Layers of operating system deal with hardware, core OS functions, system programs and application programs. Depending on the users, operating systems are classified into single-user and multi-user systems.